What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to put a lock on your bus so you can lock it when you leave it and everything is secure. Mike's Garage. So the first thing that we're going to do is install a lock. This is the lock that I purchased from Amazon. It costs about 30 bucks. And it's the best lock for this barn style door because it locks here from the side. Pull out the little cylinder and you can remove the bolt. This is pretty much tamper proof. Uh, we're going to mount it to the doors right here. So these barn style doors so that they stay closed and then I have a way to lock it from the outside. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to take the bolt mechanism here or the, uh, the mounting plate and we're going to line it up to where we can actually drill a hole into the door without hitting the glass and it's going to be on both sides. We're going to take, we're going to drill the holes here. I've already marked the spots. So we're going to drill the holes. I'm going to use a, a 3 8 inch drill bit, uh, drill the holes. I also have 3 8 inch carriage bolts, locking washers, and a, um, and a regular washer, along with obviously a nut to secure it in. Um, and the reason why you want to use carriage bolts is number one, because these holes on the mounting plate here are square, so the carriage bolts will lock in. Uh, number two, that carriage bolts don't have any kind of like a Phillips head or a flathead, so they can't be screwed from the outside. It's a just a curved dome looking bolt, and we'll put it right in. Just in case you're wondering, this is what a carriage bolt looks like. See, it has a square right there that fits right into the hole here, and then it's got a domed shaped bolt head so that you can't unscrew it from the from the front so that it's fairly secure. Then I've got locking washers here, a regular washer there, and then a bolt to go on uh, to make sure that it stays in place, that it doesn't get rattled. I got, I did get two different size carriage bolts because I didn't know what size I needed. I got uh, two and a half inch and three and a half inch. So I'll use whatever one obviously fits and uh, we'll go from there. So it's time to start drilling the holes. So now we're going to take 3 8 inch drill bit and we're going to drill right through there, right through each of the holes. Hopefully I won't hit glass, but I won't know until I do it. Now once all three holes are drilled on each side, just like this, we're going to put the bolts through, just like that. And then we're going to take a regular washer, a locking washer and a nut to secure it in place. So now it's both on there. Now the one thing I will say is this. I've got a little like a dust flap here. Look at that. I'm gonna close this, close this on there. So the only thing you gotta do in order to close it and lock it up for the day is pinch that in and then push that closed and you're good to go. And then we can go ahead and set the lock on it and lock it up for the day.